Hello, everybody. How's it going? Hey! Hey. It's me. It's your good friend, Nixium, with your good friend, Kren Friend. How's it going, guys? We're back at long last. We're back. And did you know, because uh, we, you know, we used to put these uh, podcast episodes up quite frequently, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, the reason they've slowed down is because we made an entire channel for them. You may not know, called Two Nerds Podcast. Oh, speaking of Two Nerds Podcast, you know, I think this would be a great time to talk about our sponsor. Guys, this episode of Nixium and Crendor was sponsored by the Two Nerds Podcast, <laughs> a.k.a. us, a.k.a. Right. that YouTube channel that's linked on the side of my YouTube channel, and I think Crendor's YouTube channel. At least it should be. Yes. If it's not okay. on the side, it'll be in the description right there. Yes, yeah, right. So yes, to quickly explain for those that don't know, for those of you guys that have been under the rock or just not paying attention to the news or whatever, you just whatever. Uh me and Crendor decided to make a separate YouTube channel called the Two Nerds Podcast. That's where we've been uploading like weekly podcast things where we've talked about everything from video games to life advice, to writing, uh, everything you can imagine. It's all in the Two Nerds podcast channel. I think there's like 13 episodes out at this point, 12 or 13. Um, so we've been doing it for quite a while, like over three months now, doing an episode a week. So, yeah, I mean, if you guys like the Nixie and Crendor content, I mean, go check out the Two Nerds podcast. Yeah, please. Yeah, please. Please, <laughs> please help us. Please, Scribbly Wibbly. Yeah. Thank so, you. Uh... You know, aside from that, because we've been talking about a bunch of stuff over there, uh, yeah. ranging from literally everything. everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about just uh, what we're doing on YouTube and the uh, Twitch and all that good stuff. So what have you been up to? Yeah. Well, uh, let's see. What have I been up to on YouTube and Twitch? Um, let's start with YouTube. Yeah, I guess I'll start with YouTube. Uh, so the first thing with YouTube that I've been doing is... Uh, obviously, we're it's not just me, it's you as well. I mean, we're trying to grow the Two Nerds podcast channel. Um, it's a new thing. It's something we're passionate about. And, you know, we've made some episodes. And this is one reason why we're putting this, you know, Crendor and Nixium thing on our main channels to, you know, not only give you guys, you know, the the main channel viewers something to watch, but it's also a way to promote the other channel if you want more content like this on the regular, right? Yeah. So that's one thing. Um Another thing that I've been doing personally, just me, is I've been setting a lot of goals with my YouTube channel. And um, one of those goals is to, going forward, release four to five videos a week on my channel. Um, I've been getting a lot of help from various editors like Laurentium and Platinum Wow and Banana Raccoon. They've been helping me a lot. And we've just kind of been busting ass behind the scenes to make all this Nixium content that we've been pumping out. And hopefully you guys have been enjoying that. And so the goal going forward is just, you know, four to five videos a week. High quality, you know, it's me, it's the humor, like everything. It's all created by me. And yeah. Um, so just trying to grow the YouTube scene, uh, making some, you know, not to sound like a massive sellout, but, you know, making some new merchandise currently. I'm working on that and, you know, it gives people ways to support the channel. And that's pretty much it. That's what I'm doing on the YouTube front. And I guess the last thing I'll say in terms of like content, the type of content is uh, I'm really trying to uh, expand a bit more. Um, just today, uh, I don't know when this episode is going to come out, but. Like today, I released a video on my YouTube channel about the new Assassin's Creed game, Valhalla. Um, and then I've got uh, some ideas for other types of videos that are going to come out really soon, or they might already be out now, like the D&D &D video. For those who don't know, I'm going to make a D&D &D video, or maybe it's already out. So go watch my D&D &D video about druids. And so, yeah, like Dungeons and Dragons content. And I, I kind of want to take Nixium from just a WoW channel or just a 98% WoW channel to just a general gaming channel where I can sort of express my love for all games. And that's it. I'm done. What about you? Um, yeah, I'd say my YouTube, after being all over the place, I've actually kind of found a pretty, a pretty good place where uh, 
I'm happy and content at, uh, okay. you know, back in, you know, I've kind of like at the end of last year and early this year, I was like, well, I'm, uh, you know, I'm kind of just uploading stream VODs. I'm not happy with that. I'm going to do some high quality stuff. And at the start of the year, I was like, all right, I'm doing some high quality stuff, I think. But then I would do like one video like mm-hmm. a month and then another thing. And then, I don't know. It just it was still all over the place. Like I made my Disneyland vlog. I was really happy with that. And yep. then like I'd go another like week without a video and then I'd do something else. And then I'd be like, all right. And then I kind of hit a point in March where I was like, I really just want to upload whatever I want to upload. Because yeah. I was like, that's kind of, you know, that's what I got into YouTube for, right? It was just, if I want to make a video, I'm going to make a video. And mm-hmm. I didn't want it to, you know, because at the end of the year, like I said, it was kind of just Twitch VODs. And I didn't want it to just be Twitch VODs. So, yeah. like, occasionally uh, I'll throw one up, but far less often than it used to be. Uh, mm-hmm. And so I started doing more, like, non-content. I started doing, you know, I played the new Hearthstone thing. I started doing, like, a more of me talking about random stuff in front of my shitty green screen. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I made like some edited things like Animal Crossing. I made a new pointless top 10. And then I started doing a lot of the new Shadowlands uh, alpha stuff because obviously I got into it. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to, you know, I can't offer things like is the priest, the best class or like, you know, top gameplay tips. But what I can do is I can just go explore shit, because that's kind of what I enjoy doing. So, like, the character creation screens and Torghast mm-hmm. from, like, a really bad player's perspective. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> or uh, just being like, what happened in Orgrimmar? Or, like, doing the new newbie area. Just, like, types of shit that I just think is fun. And so, I think you can kind of tell with my voice in the videos, too, that, like, I'm actually enjoying what I'm doing. Uh, and I think that's really important is you have to know the person's enjoying what they're doing. Like when I'm exploring new stuff in Orgrimmar uh, and we're just walking around and seeing it, like I'm thoroughly enjoying it because I'm curious. Those are like the types of things in WoW that I love, which is why I make things like pointless top 10. So being like, ooh, a new class hall, that's pretty mm-hmm. cool and all that stuff. Like I love that. So I've kind of just been getting back into doing what I enjoy. I even made a video talking about... Uh, entitled streamers and content creators yep, and I people saw, love I saw that, that. yeah um, and i just it was one of those things where like i didn't have to make that but i just felt like making it i was like you know what i've been doing this for 11 years i think i can give my opinion on this because i've seen my fair mm-hmm. share of content creators over that time or cot i hate that content creator mm-hmm. um well, so yeah that's yeah. uh like the thing is technically it's true right we are c- content <laughs> creator i just hate the terminology behind it yeah i don't know I mean, for me, I've I've always felt sort of like going back to your comment of like, oh, I, I just want to upload what I want to upload. I've always felt the same way myself. Like, I've always been like, oh, you know, there, there's so much stuff that I want to talk about. Like, <laughs> like I I want to talk about, wow, but I also would love to talk about my experiences like like even some random like this like i played league of legends for years and then i played dota 2 for years like oh what do i think of both games or i would love to talk about the new season of like star wars clone wars which i think is amazing mm-hmm. or I, like there's so much shit that i'd like to go into but like i've always felt like i can't because of a few reasons one reason is because I've always felt, well, no one's going to watch this, so what's the point? Mm-hmm. You know, at the end of the day, this is our job, and if you're going to invest X number of hours into, you know, editing a video, you want to make sure that you actually get some compensation from it. Otherwise, you wasted your time, right? Yep. So there's that. But there's also the fact that I, I'm, I'm just one guy. And there's only so much editing that I or the editing that I can do because video editing takes a lot of time. And in regards to Nixium, I, I set the quality standard pretty high. I mean, not as high as like some of these crazy YouTube channels that like where you get these like you know crazy editors that do the the effects and the explosions, and it's literally like teams of editors working on single video projects at a time. But like. You know, I set it pretty high for myself with the transitions and the cuts and the scenes and everything, and sometimes even skits with like little Nixium and whatnot. And I just, you, you can't, 
keep a consistent schedule at that quality. So what I would do is I would say, like the Clone Wars thing, oh, I'd love to talk about the Clone Wars but I don't know if that's going to do well. And also it's going to take a long time to edit. So let me just stick to what I know works. Mm. And I don't like that. And so that's when I got, you know, I started, you know, talking to my friends and I was like, Hey, you know, would you guys be willing to help me out here? Blah, blah, blah. Like I'll compensate like what I can big shout out to like supporters on Patreon and the people that buy like me and Crendor's merch. Like, dude, that, that, that shit helps. Like you guys don't understand, like just even buying a, a just buying a t-shirt helps or a pair of Krensloth sweatpants or whatever. And that's not Krensloth. chilling. That's, that's, <laughs> that's chilling. That's chilling. <laughs> that's chilling. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm being genuine. No, but seriously, it, it helps like, you know, and it's now I feel like like, oh, if I want to talk about Clone Wars like tomorrow, it's like, well, I don't I don't have to do that video all on my own. I can record it and, you know, a guy can like help me edit it and it can get out so much faster. And then now like goals like four to five videos a week are completely realistic for me. And that gets me pumped because now it's suddenly like, dude, I can make videos about like the shit that I want to make videos about. Like I mentioned that D&D thing. I've never thought about doing D&D in the past. Like I love d and I'm so passionate about it. We've talked about it on the Two Nerds podcast channel, but I've always been like, no, nah, I don't want to talk about that. Like, no, nah. but like now it's like, dude, like, why not? Or there's a video. It's uh, it's definitely out by now. It's me just like sitting and playing my my fucking Woodrow guitar. <laughs> like no one's going to watch that. I mean, maybe a ton of people watched it. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, so because we're recording this the day before it's supposed to come out. So maybe a ton of people watched it. But like I like but it's just like oh who cares like i just want to upload a video of me playing a guitar and like now i feel like i can do that because i don't feel like me making a video of me playing a guitar is taking away from the core content of the top 10 penises of world of warcraft or something you know what i mean (laughs) yeah yeah that's my rant um no that made sense no it made sense i definitely feel that i mean it's uh I, when I realized from watching a lot of YouTube channels myself. Well, I don't even watch a lot of YouTube channels, but like specific ones, is that it all ties back to the person's personality, and so mm-hmm. that goes for I think us as well. I think it goes for anyone, whether even on Twitch or YouTube or wherever. Is like everything is tied into a personality because someone else can do the exact same video, but it's not going to feel the same, right? If you watch, for example, I watch some guy walk through like old malls or like dead malls. And mm-hmm. I just find it oddly relaxing. And then I try watching other people do it, and it's not the same. I'm like, no, I like this one specific guy doing it. And so, mm-hmm. you know, I think it's it's similar for people like us, where maybe someone else made a video talking about, uh, I don't know, Torghast, uh, Tower of the Dam, but people want to hear our opinions on it, right? Mm-hmm. Because they know, they know, they kind of know what we're about, who we are, right? They know you're like the you kind of like crazy Viking LARPing guy, <laughs> right? And they know yes. I'm the really bad video game player that yes. is just, you know, lazy. But, you know, I feel like I'm I'm like a motivated lazy, right? Like I'm lazy, yeah. but I get shit done sometimes. And so, yeah. uh, you know, it's, it's one thing to hear somebody that's really good about the game be like, oh, here's all the great points with it and the key things and things I like and here's me just going in as like listen guys I don't even know how to play my class properly but I'm having a great time so that says something (laughs) when I watch like video game reviews and shit I'm gonna be honest I can't stand listening to some dude get into like the technical jargon of a video game (laughs) yeah I can't stand it I'm just like is it fun (laughs) just answer me that is it fun in your opinion Oh, yeah. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. (laughs) Like, what I want to hear is, hey, if you're someone that loves uh, social interaction, then you'll love the MMO social interaction online. Thank you. (laughs) That's all I wanted to know. Yeah. I don't care about anything else, (laughs) but I'm simple. I'm I'm a simple creature. Yeah. You know? And I mean, everybody goes into it for different things. Some people want that in-depth analysis, and that's fine. Yeah. But that's why you subscribe to them. And not to me. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh you know it's it's different strokes for different fro- different folks for different folks different and folks. 
But mm -hmm. yeah, I think I think that's the big thing I've kind of taken into account is just I'm kind of just having fun doing what I want to do, and I think it shows in in the videos I'm making. Yeah. In fact, I uh, I fished with Mad Season just last week. And, yeah, uh, I saw that. Yeah, it was great. It was easily the most monotone video that may have ever got like gone on the internet ever. Yeah. Uh, there's people in there just being like, man, I am ready to sleep, and I'm like two minutes in. <laughs> so yeah, that, was a, that was a fun one. I'm trying to get my fishing uh, with Crendor going again because it's still one of my favorite series I do. I love just talking with other people and getting to know them. Hmm. So one thing that I want to do is um, it's been a, <laughs> it's always requested. People want to see like more leveling challenges from me, mm. especially like. I guess like I got a lot of attention when I made the Lord of the Rings challenge on my channel because. I mean, I, I'm shocked at how many views like that first Lord of the Rings challenge episode has. Just how many views the series has in general. Like, an incredibly popular series. People absolutely loved it. I loved doing it. You could see that I loved doing it during the whole, like, seasons. Mm -hmm. And uh, people want to see more, like, creative challenges, like, come out of the channel. So that's something I've been thinking about doing going forward like more more leveling challenges and maybe not even just in wow like you know in other mmos as well people have been asking me to give like final fantasy a proper try again so maybe i could check that out although i'm not i, I played it on stream at one point i wasn't the biggest fan but i don't know like we'll see like i'll uh i'll check things out and i'll we'll, we'll see where things go but mostly it's just hey man do what you do do what you want to do because at the end of the day, if you're a content creator and you know you give too much of a damn about the type of content you're putting out, you're just going to damn yourself in. Yeah, and I think a lot of people make that mistake too because you always see people being like, hey, everybody, what type of videos do you want me to make? Like I see that all the time for, like on Twitter and everywhere. Just like, hey, what do you want to see? What do you want me to make? What do you want? And it's like, well, I mean, this is, this is what you're supposed to do. Like you're... <laughs> You're supposed to be the person thinking up stuff. Like, I think it's okay to be like, hey, I got a series. Like, what's some ideas I can work with for my series? Like, for me being like, hey, guys, what's some pointless top 10 things? Like, and then I'll look at mm -hmm. it and be like, oh, ceilings. I can do ceilings, stuff like that. But people are like, tell me what video to do. It's like, <laughs> that's that's your job. That's the whole point. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I like, uh, I like your, your leveling uh, uh, what do you call them? Challenge Challenges. type things because I've done yeah. a few and I think they're really fun too. I think there's definitely like a niche for that. On the like we did, uh, I remember me and my friends did the Amish challenge, which was really fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know if you ever did the Amish challenge. No. Uh, it's where it was in WoW where you literally only can wear the gear that you craft, uh, okay. and nothing else. And so, uh, we just all had crafted gear and then. Uh, you just see how long you last until you die. And we'd run dungeons and stuff, and it was like permadeath. So once you die, you're dead. So we'd go into dungeons with like our shitty crafted gear and just be like, oh god, like tank dies and everyone runs out. So nobody mm -hmm. really wanted the tank, but uh, you know, it's it creates like really fun scenarios like that where you get to, you know, mix the rule. You kind of create your own rules for the game, which makes it really fun. <laughs> I did a uh, a video of Brutal Static several days ago, and I told him the story. I, I think I told you this story, like, off recording, where I role-played as a brontosaurus in Classic WoW. <laughs> you know what I'm talking what? about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, okay, so the people that saw the Brutal Static thing, they're going to hear this again, but just deal with it. Uh, long story short, I'm kind of a freak. And what happened was I was bored one evening, so I just did what every young man does. I just decided to role play as a brontosaurus in classic WoW. So I made a level one orc, logged into Duratar, and immediately started making macros of me screaming and going, <laughs> uh, uh. and I named myself brontosaurus. So I was walking up to people going like, uh, and like spamming an emote of like needs leaves, needs leaves, 
badly. <laughs> and so eventually I made my way into Orgrimmar where I started pissing everybody off, like in front of the bank and whatnot. And then uh, a poor Torin druid took pity on me. And he was like, oh, no, you you poor Brontosaurus. There are no leaves in Duratar. This is not a role play server, by the way. This is a <laughs> PvP realm. So he was like, I will take you to Ashenvale. There's tons of leaves there. <sighs> so he, this Torin Druid escorted me all the way to Splinter Tree Outpost as I just like screamed like a moron behind him and aggroed every single mob in the zone and it was amazing <laughs> that is amazing yeah <laughs> so the point is i'm thinking of like a leveling challenge and i'm like ah oh, i should make like the brontosaurus challenge <laughs> like how many people can i get to quit world of warcraft by screaming at them like a dinosaur <laughs> yeah i mean even if you do like the stupidest challenges i think it's still funny yeah, so I'll just yeah. do like, just like, just like, like, like the player harassment challenge. <laughs> just get people to log out because you keep annoying them. <laughs> I might get banned for that, so no, I probably won't do that. But yeah, I'm kind of weird. I hey just guys, like time things. for the get banned from World of Warcraft challenge. <laughs> yeah, dude, that would be funny. Like if I'm ever like, man, fuck WoW, fuck Blizzard, I'll do the get banned from WoW challenge. <laughs> like no shame, it'll be great. Dude, Brutal, like, Brutal Static is, like, this mythic, like, top-tier raider guy. So I'm telling him this story, and he's just like, what is wrong with you? Like, Because <laughs> he's like, how do you, like, what? Okay. <laughs> I loved it. Uh, Absolutely loved it. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, uh, kind of off-topic, but swinging back to just YouTube channels. So not yeah, super yeah. off-topic, but uh, okay. I also have my uh, my Warhammer channel. I'm still growing. Warhammer Krendor. Yeah. Yeah, uh, dude. We talked about the last time. Now it's up to uh, 2,200 subscribers. I'm still making oh, videos wow. there. Uh, I actually... Oh, go on, and I'll share, uh, share my bit. I was going to say, uh, you know, it's slowed down a little bit with the, you know, everything being closed and I can't get new models and stuff, but I've still been building. Still, like, I'm talking about, like, new things that happen with Warhammer that get, you know, I'll just I'll kind of do the same thing. I'll talk about it. Or then I'll show a video of me building stuff, and then I'll show a video of me playing the game, and I'll like I do these little battle report things where it's like I'll just do units versus units, where I'm like, oh, today we're gonna have Croxagors taking on a Saurus Sunblood. Let's see who wins. Up, oh, this guy won, and then I'll like bring in some other unit and be like, up, oh, they took over now. Let's see who wins here, and then I'll be like, on a three up, this tree falls, and I'm like, ah, I killed him. What do you know? And I just mm -hmm. have fun doing like dumb shit like that. So it's uh, it's been yeah. fun over there. Nice. I made a uh, decision. I didn't. I didn't even think about it. Uh, we talked about it just before we hit the record button. But um, I made a decision in regards to my Nixium Unleashed channel today. Oh, because uh, long story short, the Nixium Unleashed channel has had quite a history behind it. Uh, originally, it was Nixium Plays. It was a Let's Play channel. And then I really didn't enjoy Let's Playing that much because it sort of took the fun out of the video game for me because when I play a game, I kind of just want to, like, shut the hell up and just play the game. But if I have to, like, talk and give commentary the whole time, it kind of takes me out of it. Um, so that didn't last very long. So for years, the channel sat and didn't do anything. Then I turned it into Nixium Unleashed, and I was going to turn it into, like, a countdown channel. And... Uh, that was fine for a little bit, but the problem is, is I put the quality standard way too high with that channel. So I was making videos for Nixium Unleashed, really like high quality, like top tens and countdowns. And then what ended up happening is I was spending so much time on that channel that my main channel was getting neglected because, you know, just one guy, you know, one editor. So it's only so many hours in the day. And uh, so I took the videos off of that channel and put it on my main channel instead because people said, why not? And since then, the channel has just sort of sat in limbo. Like, what do I do with it? It's a channel with like 10,000 subs with no videos on it. And eventually I came to the decision earlier today. And I mean, we'll see. I mean, maybe I'll, <laughs> maybe I'll change my mind in like, you know, two days or something. I'll be like, that's ah, not a good idea. But there's a lot of things that like I want to talk about but I don't want to like. It's kind of like I mentioned the the Clone Wars thing earlier. 
mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, I would, I would love to make a video talking about this subject or that subject, but I don't necessarily want to like make it into some like fancy ass, like well edited video or like trouble like someone with helping me doing that. So I just sort of was like, well, let me just make this like a Nixium Unleashed channel. It's just me just sharing my thoughts on things like uh, the the first video that I uploaded, I just uploaded it or up, bleh, bleh, uploaded it today. And it's just me sharing the story of when my friend Tate rammed a stick up a dude's ass to get a ride as a hitchhiker. <laughs> um, I actually told that story to you a long time ago, back when we played The Forest. I together. do remember that story. I don't remember yes. exactly everything, but I do remember some some other stories from him as well. Yes, like <laughs> I love my Tate stories, so I'm like, I'll just I'll just share some Tate stories. And then I was thinking, like, man, I'd love to talk about like. <laughs> Like, I'll just do whatever the hell I want on that channel. It's a dump channel. Like, (laughs) I I literally will finish a book and upload a book review. I was thinking about putting a thing where I was going to talk about the new season of The Last Kingdom on there. Uh, I was thinking about uh, doing a video where I was going to talk about, like, uh, what was it? It was something, like, it was something that I didn't like. I was even going to talk about my neighbor's ass on that channel. Like... (laughs) I mean, like, just whatever the hell. Like, I'm just like, yeah, you know, like, whatever. Who cares? I'm just share my thoughts, just completely uncensored and unleashed. Like, no editing, no bullshit. So that's something I want to do as well on the second channel. Because why not? It'll be, it'll be neat. It'll be yeah. cool. I like that idea. It's, yeah. Uh, you know, because sometimes, you know, you know, the like people that care about your video games and WoW and everything like that don't really care about. Uh, well, maybe they do, but, you know, they don't. Most of the people probably don't yeah. care about stuff like that, so they can just go over there, and then you know people care about it, which is kind of exactly. why I did the the Warhammer thing. Yeah. It's like, where the hell am I supposed to upload a video of me sharing a story about a young dude putting a stick of a big, obese <laughs> black man's ass? Like, where am I going to put that? Does that really belong on Nixium, guys? No, it doesn't. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> like, could you imagine if I uploaded that on my channel tomorrow? <laughs> Like, what the hell is wrong with you? So, like, Some kid like, I can't wait to see what Nixium said about World of Warcraft. Whoa! Exactly. Oh, mom, I can't wait. To, I love Whoa! Nixium's videos about WoW. <laughs> is this the new WoW patch? <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, so, no, it doesn't belong there. So, the dump <laughs> channel, Nixium Unleashed. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so that's a good yeah. idea. Um, yeah. Any other, any other YouTube stuff? <laughs> No, I mean, my only ish or my only plan with the Nixium Unleashed is I'm going to try to upload a video on there at least like five days a week. Because, hmm. because unfortunately, like, oh my gosh, I hate the YouTube algorithm. Like, oh yeah, it's the worst. Uh, oh my gosh, we were complaining about it for like a good hour before we started recording. Like, YouTube is just, oh, I hate it. Like, if you're, if your channel is not like, like, it's tough. Like, and they just keep making it tougher. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. that would be a lot of technical jargon to go into, and it'd be a bunch of stuff that you guys don't care about since you're not on the YouTuber side of the spectrum, but it's annoying. I'm just so going to leave it at that. Maybe we'll talk about it on the Two Nerds podcast channel in a future podcast. Did you just say the... Wait, hold on. <laughs> Did you just say the... Wow, 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 Two Nerds podcast, wow, YouTube channel... Five o'clock in the morning. Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Nate. Nate. Um, we're, we we talked in the last episode about finding some dude to make one of those like weird ass like radio intro things. Oh yeah, because we have one for Cox and Crendor in the morning. Or uh, when me yeah. and Jesse Arthur, where it's like, wake your ass up. Someone made it. We've used it for like seven years now. <laughs> yeah, um, I know. <laughs> if anyone can make something like that. Please make it for us. Yes, please. It would be amazing. Um, <laughs> we just do some noises right now, like. Wow! Well, uh, oh God! Oh yeah! Uh, uh, yeah, you know, five o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's five o'clock in the morning. Spider-Man is swinging from the trees Spider-Man. yet again. Yeah. It's the Two Nerds Podcast. Podcast.
There you go. There you go. <laughs> you, you got plenty of source material to work with now. Huge amount of source material. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, so, uh, how about yes. uh, how about your Twitch? <laughs> uh, Twitch. Uh, <laughs> yes. So um, I have not been streaming on Twitch very much recently. Oh. Here's the thing about Twitch. This is my relationship between me and Twitch. Yep. I love my Twitch community. I think they're great. They're amazing people. One of them is currently living in my house right now. I invited oh. him here for three months. Oh. Right? right? So I love my Twitch community. Some of my best friends, like today, are people that I met through streaming. They were just viewers of mine, and then they were just real cool. Huh. But here's the thing. I love Twitch, but I love YouTube more. Mm. I love making videos. I love that whole, like, like, like the thing with Twitch. Twitch is great, but you're not making anything. There's no, like, creative fulfillment out of it. Right. And, like, I really, like, I really just am putting a lot more focus on YouTube right now. Because I really just want to grow my YouTube channel. And, like, I'll stream if I want to, like, here and there. Cause, I mean, I do want to. It's just, I just kind of want to focus on YouTube right now. And it, it sucks because, like, YouTube, you know, talking about that algorithm again, like, it sucks, like, how YouTube is making it tougher and, you know, fighting for higher CPMs is such a bitch. And, uh, you know, like, it, the, the money is in Twitch, okay? You want some behind-the-scenes information? <laughs> yeah. The money ain't on YouTube, class, okay? It's on Twitch.tv. That's yeah. where you make bank as a content creator. But if you're someone like me where you want to make videos, like that's your fucking passion. It's annoying because it's like, I, I, I want to make videos. So that's when you got to start. And then you start feeling bad because you're like, oh, I want to keep whatever. I, I can rant about that in another episode. <laughs> there's there's a few things I could say. Yeah. But yes, those those are my thoughts. So I will return to streaming again really soon. And I've had some really fucking good streams. Like the past few streams that I did do were amazing. They were land parties. Hmm. Um, but yeah, like I, something I've thought about doing in relation to Twitch, maybe I've been thinking about getting a streamer backpack. Oh, I'm thinking about it because like, I feel like you're the type of person that would benefit from that type of thing. Cause you're yeah. very much like an outgoing outdoorsy type of person. Dude, my perfect Twitch stream, I don't think the backpack would be able to handle this. Dude, hiking. Yeah. Like, oh, shit. Like, I would Nixium. hike the... Oh, hiking with Nixium. Like, that is the perfect stream for me. Like, I come home, I sit down, I edit my videos for several hours. Okay, I want to get out of the chair now. I want to move around. I'm going to go for a hike in the woods. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Nixium, hiking in the woods. Let's see what we can find. Yeah. That's like perfect day right there. I'd watch that. I'd love that. Oh, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I would love to do that. Just be like, whoa, guys, look at this creek. Psh, hear the water and stuff. Like, yeah. it'd be awesome. Dude, I caught a toad. Wow. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yes. So yes. I don't know. Like, we'll see. Like, the only issue with streamer backpacks is they're very expensive. They're like 2600 bucks. Oof, yeah. You're like buying a computer pretty much. Exactly. And like buying like a mega computer. So I don't know. I've I don't know. I'm thinking about I'm thinking about putting out like a uh maybe a fan funding video. I haven't done one in a long time. Like the last time I did a fan funding video was back when YouTube had its first ad apocalypse. And I was like, Hey, you guys want to support me on Patreon or whatever? But I'm thinking about it. Cause then it would help me with paying the guys that are helping me. I could get like a streamer backpack, which would be cool. So like more streams and whatnot, more videos. I could even like bring other people on to help. So I don't know. We'll see. Like, I'm meditating on it, okay? I'm I'm thinking about it. Yeah. So. I mean, I think people would would fund that, you know, as long as you got like some like actual thing you're funding and not just like, yeah. guys, I need money, give me. Right? You're actually yeah, like, yo, guys, I want to like make these types of streams for you. Yeah, I mean, the last thing you want is to go on, you know, a platform like Twitch or YouTube, like especially Twitch and just like 
beg for money unnecessarily and then shame people for not giving it to you. <laughs> Could you imagine doing something like that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, even that, it's just five dollars, ten dollars. It's just it's like, five dollars. Come on, go get a job, work, then you can give the money to me. Exactly. <laughs> Most of you guys probably don't know what we're referencing, but look it up. Okay. Uh, people on my yeah. channel probably do because I talked about it for like 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, you did make videos. <laughs> Go watch Crendor's video, promoting that video a little yeah. bit. Um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, on my what about Twitch, you? What's, what's your Twitch plans? Uh, I still stream multiple times a week. I don't have a set schedule because, as people have probably learned through the years, I hate schedules. If anything, yep. um, I stream at night. That's gen that's my schedule is night. It doesn't, you know, yeah. sometimes it's 9 p.m., sometimes it's midnight, sometimes it's, you know, sometimes I'll do the random day stream, but for the most part it's later at night. Mm -hmm. Uh and so lately I've been playing a wide variety of stuff. I played some uh, Shadowlands Alpha, I played Valorant, uh I played Mario Party 4, uh I played Animal Crossing. Uh, we played golf, like I had a golf night with a bunch of people. Uh, mm -hmm. so I've been playing a lot of old GameCube games cause I got my, my Nintendo Wii and I found my old GameCube games and you can play them on the Wii. So I've just been doing that and that's been really fun. Uh, and then I bought a couple too. Uh, so I bought Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. So I play a chapter of that every week. Um, nice. I played a Winnie the Pooh Home Run Derby. <laughs> what? <laughs> Some... One of my viewers was like, "Baby." One of my viewers was like, "Crendor, I can't beat Winnie the Pooh home run derby." My friend ch like challenged me to beat it, and he bet me I'm money. It. And it's uh, it's an old Flash game, and okay. so the game premise is you're Winnie the Pooh, and you have to face all these pitchers that are uh, Winnie the Pooh characters. You get you know Eeyore, uh, Rabbit, Tigger. And the end is Christopher Robin. He's like the best pitcher in the game. Yeah. Uh, and so I was it. like, all right, you know, and he's like, you know what? If you beat it, I'll give you, uh, you know, I'll give you some money. And I was like, oh, shit, sweet. I'll do that. So <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll beat this. So I start playing, you know, I'm beating the pitchers, whatever. And I get to Christopher Robin and I spent three and a half hours, <laughs> three and a half hours trying to beat Christopher Robin. And I didn't do it. And he gave me the money anyway. And okay. so, you know, normal streamer, probably like, yeah, fuck this game, whatever, move on. They got their money. They did their thing, whatever. Oh, no, yeah. I was going to beat Christopher Robin. So I yeah. came back the next day and people were like, wait, you're still going? Then you get the money. And I was like, oh, it's not about money. This is about beating that uh, shit kid, Christopher Robin. And I tried. <laughs> this isn't about money. <laughs> <laughs> I tried for another hour and a half. And then I gave up, went to play another thing. Next day, came back again. After 30 minutes. Okay. Took him down. Took him oh, down. Oh, damn it. I hate the fact you've already beaten him because I was going to play it after <laughs> we were done recording and I was going to see if I could beat him and then oh. tomorrow I would have uploaded a video saying I beat <laughs> Winnie the Pooh home run derby before Grand Dude, Door. <laughs> no, if you beat it faster than me, that if you beat it in under an hour, I will be like props to you. Okay. If you, like, seriously, if you beat it in under an hour, uh, in under an hour, that's like an achievement in itself. It took me, I think, a total of five hours. I misspelled Winnie. <laughs> I spelled it W-E-E-N-I-E. -E -E, weenie. What's challenging about it is you have to hit, you have to have an 80% home run rate on 50 pitches, and he throws every pitcher's <coughs> pitches combined. It's insane. And it's... Uh, I, it was insane. So I'm, I was happy I did it. You know, it was a personal goal. And, you know, that's the type of thing you can expect on my stream uh, yeah. is just I do what I want and I have fun doing it, even yeah. if it drives me insane. Um, yeah. And I played some Mario Golf and more Animal Crossing. And then sometimes I'll just talk. It's just kind of whatever. So I love streaming just because it is that for me. It's like I hop on. I play something I want to play. Everybody has fun. And then that's it. <laughs> yeah. You know, so. just want to like. I'd love to do just more real life stuff. Yeah. Like, what if I went, I wonder if I could do this. Let me think about this for a second. Could I, no, it'd be impossible. Well, maybe. What if you, you know chest gimbals? No. What if you, oh my God. Okay, you know what a gimbal is? <laughs> no. You don't know what a gimbal is? No. 
it's that fucking stick that you hold on to and it like balances like a camera so that it doesn't uh, shake at okay, all. Okay, I know that. Yeah, gimbals. So they yeah. have chest gimbals and those are usually for like people that ride mountain bikes, dirt bikes or like whatever. Mm -hmm. That way, like as they're like going over bumps and shit, the camera stays perfectly level and it's a nice smooth video, right? Right. What if I took the streamer like backpack camera and mounted it on a chest gimbal somehow and then I could like ride my bike around like either I mean I don't think I could mountain bike with it because I, I think the signal would just constantly oh, yeah. be getting lost out in the woods that's my one concern but I could be like biking around the town and then people could like find me and come beat me up <laughs> you know that's yeah. what the fans would be supporting <laughs> Just like a live stream fail of me getting beat up. Or like, I, honestly, this is what I would do. This would be my first real life stream. I would, if, if I did something like that, I would get on a bike. I'd ride around in the park, not like out in the trees, just like kind of on the paved paths that I don't. Yeah. And then I would park somewhere and I would set down my backpack. So I have a nice, cool camera angle. And then I'd probably sit and I'd smoke a cigar and then I would get like kind of a little bit cigar high. And then I would start talking about my feelings and then everyone would be like, whoa. And that would probably be it. I mean, I like that still. Yeah. I mean, doesn't that <laughs> yeah. sound great? And you'd hear like birds and shit in the background and nature. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. That's my favorite part. Just the ASMR of it. Oh, I know. I know you like your ASMR. <laughs> I do love my ASMR. I don't know. It's just an idea. So I, I need to like think on it like a few more days. Like I got to be like, do I really want to do this? Because I feel like it would be a nice. It would be like a nice contrast to the YouTuber life. Like the YouTuber life is all sitting in your chair and editing and voice acting and shit. Mm. But this would be like just active, like going out and exploring. And I even said on uh, I said on Twitter today and I'm not kidding. I would do this. Uh, my friend Fishy wants to come with me. But I was like, dude, I should get a streamer backpack and then stream myself driving to Alaska. <laughs> what? Like, yeah, just go from North Carolina to Alaska. And just be like, yeah, dude, let's go. And just like, just drive the whole way. Or I could just <laughs> drive to your house. I mean, I'll stream the whole thing and you'll know <laughs> when I'm approaching. I'll be like, dude, he is he's outside. <laughs> you know, you as know? much fun as that sounds. <laughs> I'll turn the camera so it's looking in the car, not in front. Uh, I mean, you know, as much fun as. That. <laughs> and then I could come beat you up. Wow, you know. Wow, <laughs> as much fun as that sound. <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, I love <laughs> I love the idea of you, you know, mountain biking, smoking cigars. Yeah, I'd love your camping. Oh, camping. I didn't think about that. Yeah, oh, dude, a live camping. stream of camp. Oh, damn. Let me write it down. Yeah. Live stream. Camping camp. live stream. All right. You're starting to seduce me. <laughs> Some of my favorite uh, things are like just watching other people camp. Uh, not in video like games, a, but, you know. <laughs> I'd have to find like a nice like clearing or something like yeah. where like I'd have a good signal. But yeah, like I, just, it's just uh, a lot of money. Like, fuck. Yeah. I'm Please. in medical debt right now, so 2600 bucks. that's a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I don't know if I want to go like 2600 bucks more into debt. I don't yeah. know. I'll think about it. Think about it. I'll think about it. I'll, we'll see. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe put out a video or something if I decide to go down that route, because it would be cool. And, like, you know, stream highlights from those sorts of streams would actually be kind of acceptable, because it would be like, oh, like I'm out in, like, the woods, and I'm camping, and I hear a bear or something. Yeah. That'd be awesome. And then uh, yeah. you could just, yeah, you just like scout out the areas for like good signal spots and then that's where you set up camp. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like fun. I would do that in a heartbeat. Yeah. Dude, do you guys want to go camping with me? Do you guys want to <laughs> sleep with me in oh. my sleeping bag? Uh, it's going it's to uh, be cold uh, tonight. It's going to uh, be nice and chilly. Better uh, cuddle close, <laughs> kids. All right. You know? Well. Uh, speaking of streaming, I probably gotta go stream soon. Uh, oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, look at the time. Well, would you look at that time? Uh, 
So, yeah. Well, that's good, Grendor. I'm glad that you've got plans, and I'm glad that you feel very content with your YouTube channel, and I'm glad Warhammer Crendor is doing good, and I'm glad that people are going to Krensloth.com right now and the Nixium Corner Store to get exciting Nixium and Crendor merchandise to support the channels. That's fantastic. I'm really glad. I would yeah, definitely go to those places that are probably in the description down below, as well they as the Two Nerds podcast link. That's true. Wow. That's amazing. That's crazy. But all right, I guess, yeah, we can call it here. It is kind of late. It's 1 o'clock in the morning for me, and I'm kind of sleepy. Yeah. And this alcohol is not making it any easier. <laughs> Wowie. 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 Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, all right. it's a good talk, good catch up, and, uh, you know, we'll continue our our normal rants about non-YouTube and video game topics over on uh, Two Nerds Podcast channel. Yeah. Maybe what we'll do, like, going forward, guys, is we'll do, like, one Crendor and Nixium video kind of like this, like, once a month on our main channels. But then, like, the other three weeks or something will be Two Nerds Podcast, like, just that YouTube channel. So, yeah, um, maybe that's what we'll do. Uh, so, yeah, are we going to upload this on the Two Nerds Podcast channel as well? Or just the main uh, ones? I'd probably just put this on the main ones, I think. Okay, I guess it makes sense. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, so uh, every month, three episodes on the Two Nerds podcast channel, one on our main channels. Yeah. You know? There we go. Nice. All right, guys. All right. Well, well. thank you thank, thank you all for watching, and we will see you um, next week, okay? Okay. 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 Well, Crendor, well, as always, I guess I will uh, give you the final word. Yeah. See you.